for me, it's like working in the future. We wanted to do something that really changed the paradigm completely. Our HIV vaccine work directly led to our ability to tackle other pathogens, and in particular, our development of a Zika vaccine. I came from Zimbabwe. When I was growing up, I lived with my aunt who was HIV positive, and I really saw the struggles that she had. And so from that time onwards, I really wanted to join the race to find the HIV cure. And I thought that the Reagan Institute would be the best place for me. It was 2008. We wanted to do something transformational. So we brought together the best scientists we could find, get them to help us solve this really major global crisis. I'm an engineer, computational biology, scientist, biological engineering. What really makes this place transformative is the fact that, okay, you've got the best human immunologists, you have the best technologies and facilities, and what you can do is you can actually say, let's combine these together to build something that you couldn't have ever imagined. I came to Oregon to work towards the cure, not only of the HIV, but many other infectious diseases. No one person can do that alone. It's the spirit of collaboration that binds us together. The Reagan Institute opened the door for me to work with other leaders in the field and contribute in a meaningful way toward a successful vaccine. For me, it's by collaborating with engineers that we've begun to understand how antibodies truly fight infectious diseases. It is through collaboration between geneticists, physicists, mathematicians, biologists, and immunologists that we've gotten closer to a therapeutic vaccine. We are in the most incredible scientific ecosystem anywhere in the world. And our work extends way beyond HIV. We're studying tuberculosis, working on Zika, we're working on Ebola and malaria and all sorts of other emerging diseases worldwide. But we're also learning from the patients themselves. It's translational medicine that really distinguishes us to take basic discoveries and translate them from the bench to the bedside and to do so rapidly. Our work here at the Reagan Institute has told us more about how the people who control the disease do so. We hope to be able to replicate this to a therapeutic vaccine. My laboratory works on a, a group of viruses that causes serious human diseases other than HIV, and they require significant biocontainment, biosafety measures to be safe. These facilities are available to us, and it's really been transformative for our research. By collaborating with a lab at Mass General, we were able to engineer CAR T cells that were HIV specific to get closer to potentially having a therapeutic that would provide durable remission for HIV. The support that we've received has made this all possible, and there's real power in that transformation. We've been able to bring together people from all these different disciplines, and together, we're transforming how science is done. We're transforming how discoveries are made. And hopefully, we're transforming how cures are achieved. <laughs>